Hello, everyone. This is Father and Son Worlds Apart. I'm Marcus. I'm Denny. And we're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto uh, Remastered, the, uh, the new trilogy. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto, the new uh, remastered trilogy coming out for the uh, PC, the console, the and the Nintendo Twitch. So uh, Danny know a little bit more about that than I do. I played Grand Theft Auto uh, about 500 years ago. And so I'm sure a lot, of ch- lot have changed since then. So well, then wow. hmm. something about the new Grand Theft Auto, <clears throat> what they're trying to do, and all of that well, information. Well, there, this this one's actually not. It's they're just remastering the um, the three classics, the one that's gotten them the most hit. So they're known about this, and since beginning of 2021, there was already rumors that have been surfaced that they were going to be doing this. Um, basically, the three um trilogies that they so the trilogy that they're remastering the three best titles are grand theft auto 3 vice city and san andreas which are all pretty much classics in the gaming world now they also just recently redone the online portion for um playstation 5 which was highly anticipated it did not really didn't really change much from the graphics but they seem to think it did but um, so, but they've been talking about this, or it's been a rumor that this is going to happen because they've also throughout the years started taking down. Now I play Grand Theft Auto on PC. I've gotten bored of the console version a long time ago, because on PC you can do more things. Right now the hot thing is uh GTA RP, so role play. So you can get on these modified servers and you can do everything from be a police officer to be a trash man if you want to. It doesn't matter but it's more realistic it's kind of more like a sims version of grand theft auto but you can still do the same thing kill everybody if you want to just there's different consequences so you have admins that actually own the servers and they have their own rules so if the rules say act normal act like normal human citizens it's rp then that's what you have to do so for instance, if you get caught speeding, you get tickets or you get pulled over by police. Like it's it's really, really crazy, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Like you can sit there and think you're gonna play for an hour, but you end up getting stuck on there for five, six hours, and you meet a lot of people too because it's very interactive. Well, it's it's it only works interactive. You can't just sit there and run through the map and try to play because you actually have to have contact with people. You have to do interview in every server before you go into. That's why I only have two servers currently that I play on because actually getting into a server is difficult because most people know that Grand Theft Auto Online is filled with idiots for the most part. You just run around, you try to do your missions, people just come out the random, just blow you up or just ruin the whole fun out of the game pretty much. And that's why things like GTA RP w- w- was created to kind of keep those people at distance. So there's actually like screening processes that most of these servers have before you actually get on and get to play. So <clears throat> it's actually, like I said, it's more, more, ch- more, so, I mean, more what chill than relaxed. About screening? How do how do they screen you? If they if they ask questions like basically things like do you know what VDM is, which is vehicle damage, um, which is just hitting a person randomly, um, you know, just running over a person at random for no type of reason at all, because there can be missions, you know, involved where you play gang wars or something like that, where you have where you do kill each other or you go to war, but unless you're in one of those missions, you're actually playing rp so you know what you would do in real life you would do in gta and if you get caught doing it then you can you can get banned from the servers for a day or two some servers even have a jail they'll put you in their jails for an hour and it's literally because grand theft auto has a jail in the middle of it and or grand theft auto online and um you can they'll put you in the jail for an hour or so and 
then let you back out, you know, just for breaking the rules. And that's what the type of things they'll ask you, basically, if you know what VDM is and, and all these different things, you know, that could get you banned. <clears throat> and then so, if you answer all these questions, then they'll let you usually, they'll usually let you in. But you're, you, everybody's monitored. So there's somebody that's watching. Like I said, somebody owns this server. Somebody's bought the server and can do whatever he wants with it. So, so there's do, people. Mm -hmm. So do so when they put you in jail. <laughs> so you have to spend an hour real time in that jail. Yeah. Can you yeah. log off and like log off for an hour and log back well, on, or do you have to be you, on you for can, an hour? Well, you can go. You can go away. Like you can set your controller around, uh, down, and you can go away. But you're in for your band inside of the game for an hour. Might be able to find um, like a clip on it, even. <clears throat> but I mean, when you say an hour, do you have to stay in it for an hour? You can't log mm -hmm. off, log out, and log yeah. back in an hour later. Oh no, <laughs> nope. You're you're stuck in there. Uh, they'll put you in there, and somebody is monitoring it because it's somebody's job to be a prison warden. <clears throat> okay, that sounds and, interesting. Like yeah. you said, it sounds like Grand Theft Sims to me. It, it is like i said it's oops it puts a um it puts a completely different take on the game like i said <clears throat> the playing gta normally is just not even really fun anymore you know let me see oh yeah well so here's a matter of fact i'm about to, i'm about to pull up a clip here <coughs> uh, let me see how i can add you there we go so you getting ready to pull up a clip showing yeah. someone in jail for an hour? <clears throat> well, no, they just, they take a, uh, take the jail, but so you can see kind of what it looks like. Okay. So. So yeah, they're getting ready. So you to see take the police officers. It's a it's an admin from the server when he's running around. He's making sure people are following the rules, and he's doing something he's not supposed to. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And, and you, okay, and you see so why it's interactive because you talk, have, huh? So those are real people. The cop is a real person. That's not a uh, a, a oh yeah. Mod. And like I said, you can have up to three thousand people in some servers. I've seen it all. <clears throat> so I'll fast uh -huh. forward a bit. So here, now the situation gets heated at some point. Uh huh. I see somebody and, got hit with a car. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, so there he gets arrested. <clears throat> About to bring him off to the jail or bring him into booking. Uh huh. <laughs> I know that's not the jail. What is that? <laughs> Let's see, there we go. Now they're on their way. So, okay. That's, they have a whole lot of police calls. Yeah. <laughs> so you saying all of these, all the the all the police and all of that stuff are, are real oh, people. Yeah. And one of the things um, is there's usually in Grand Theft Auto Online, you have. Um, you have um you have robots and stuff like AIs that walk around a lot of them because there's only like a like I think a hundred people maybe to a, to a lobby, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you don't have that in RP. There is no AI people, so you every person that you see, every character is an actual person behind a mic and behind a computer. <coughs> okay. <coughs> wow, I'm talking a lot. So you only can uh, but you only can play this on the PC. You can't you can't mm -hmm. uh play it on the uh consoles. No, you can't um because you have to mod you have to play a modified version. Okay. Okay. And so the shenanigans start in the jail already, so <clears throat> yeah, it's uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's that looks pretty interesting, man. I mean, they 
Looked like they did a real good job with uh um adding more excitement to it and everything. That's the so, thing. Rockstar did not do this. This is this these are people that are taking the game and creating their own like versions of it. But Rockstar has nothing again, is 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 totally up for it. So <clears throat> because it's keeping people still interested, you have to have the actual game to be able to play this because you play it. <clears throat> and then it links your Grand Theft Auto online somehow into their servers. And okay. like I said, these people buy these servers from Rockstar and stuff like that. And <clears throat> last year, or no, this year, the Rockstar was going to do an update because this was getting so much uh, attention <clears throat> because RP has evolved now over the last six months or so. But it started off as... LSPD with LSPDFR, which was a mod for the story mode where you could run around and play as a police officer. <clears throat> then somebody turned around and recreated the whole thing for the online. And then from there, it went on to be like now where you can, there's people working at clothing stores inside of there. When you go to buy your clothes, you're like, whoa, like, mm -hmm. is, is this serious? Is this what you do? Literally, you stand here all day? Yeah, I just sell clothes and talk to people. Okay. Uh, okay. That's kind okay. of boring, don't you think? No, it's cool. <laughs> I talk to a lot of people. And okay. that's what it is for, for the most part. It's it's not really so much as the, as the game so much. Like the game is there, but it's the interaction with the different people that you get. It's literally, like I said, you got 3,000 people sometimes in the lobby. You got all sorts of different types of servers. Not all of them are that big, but I always play on the really, really big ones because that's the that's the funnest. You you run into all sorts of people from all over the place, and it's really, really it's, like I said, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> so if okay. if you're like a really like a shy person or somebody that has problems with interactions, that I, I, that's a real good way. Like, or if you have a son or or a daughter that's you know real shy, and that's a real good way to get somebody to to learn how to get into act and talk to people. <clears throat> and like I said, it's a it's a lot of fun. I'm I'm a, I always run around as a police officer, so I always have lots and lots of fun. I always mm -hmm. get to interact with people, so and it's always funny. You're always laughing. That's why I'm gonna start doing some clips from that as well. I might actually <laughs> try that out. That sound that actually sounds much more fun to me. So it is. people it's, out there here. So people out there listen to Danny explain this with you. Think about giving uh, GTA the uh, the PC version, the modded ones, a chance. Uh, let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.